Now is the winter of our discontent. Made glorious summer by the sun of York, and all the clouds that lured upon our house in this deep bosom of the oceans buried. Now are our brows bound with victorious wreaths, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern learns changed to the merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures, grim visaged war hath smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting Bob's steeds, to fright the souls of fearful adversaries, he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasings of a lute. But I, that have not shaped for sport or trick, nor made to court an amorous looking glass, I, that have rudely stamped, and want love's majesty to strut before wanton ambling nymph, I, that am curded tailed of this fair proportion, Cheated a feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished, sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce half made up, and that's so lamely and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I halt by them. Why I, in this weak piping time of peace, have no delight to pass away the time, unless to spy my shadow of the sun and to scant on my own deformity, and therefore. Since I cannot prove a lover to entertain these fair well spoken days, I am determined to prove a villain and hate the idle pleasures of these days. Plots have I laid, inductions dangerous by drunken prophecies, libels and dreams to set my brother Clarence and the king in a deadly hate, the one against the other. And if King Edward be as true and just as I am subtle, false and treacherous, this day should Clarence closely be mood of about a prophecy, which says that G of Edwards, as the murderer shall be, 